High-performance butterfly valves are used quite successfully in a variety of industries. When applied correctly, the throttling butterfly valve proves to be an economical flow control device, especially for larger line sizes where the valve's compact design and lighter weight provide installation advantages. However, the majority of industrial applications involve fast processes and varying pressure drops situations in which the butterfly valve performs poorly. This lack of control can also be seen at both low and high flow rates, which means the butterfly valve's effective control range realistically occurs between 30% and 50% open. When conditions call for the butterfly valve to operate outside of this range, it typically cycles at low flow and is sluggish at high flow. In these cases, the valve is often switched from auto mode to manual, or it is severely detuned, which means it provides no control at all. Now there is an answer to this control range dilemma, the Fisher control disc. The control disc valve stretches the control range to begin at 10% open and extends the range to 70% travel. That's a 300% increase in application coverage. But that's not all. The control disc valve features a unique and patented disc profile that provides an installed linear flow characteristic with a resulting gain of 1.0, a combination that is typically preferred for process control. The new disc eliminates cycling at low flow, which greatly improves control and minimizes process variability. While at high flow conditions, its control gain provides good performance. The unique disc reduces flow stream turbulence when controlling near the valve seat. Less turbulence generates less noise. There's also less impact on the disc seal, so service life is extended. The control disc valve also features a reduced dynamic torque requirement, which allows use of a smaller economical actuator. A drivetrain that ensures precise disc positioning, which minimizes process variability. Advanced shaft seal technology for emission control. A pressure-assisted disc seal for tight shutoff. Long-life, low-friction shaft bearings for extended cycle life. There are other control disc benefits as well. Valve selection and sizing are simple procedures. It provides application versatility with a choice of disc seals. It offers a compact overall size to fit tight spaces. As a direct replacement valve, you can use existing piping. Maintenance is quick and easy. Documentation is detailed and easily accessed. Local service and support is readily available. A control valve has an inherent flow characteristic and an installed flow characteristic. Understanding the difference between the two is an essential step in achieving good process control. The control disc has an inherent equal percentage flow characteristic that is represented graphically by this exponential curve. Note the lower flow rate, which affords better control at low to mid-valve open positions with a rapid change in flow rate as the valve approaches full open. The inherent flow characteristic is determined by a standard flow test in which the only variable is a change in valve travel, going from fully closed to fully open. While the inherent flow characteristic is important for sales catalog purposes, it is the installed flow characteristic that is important to control of the process. The installed flow characteristic determines to a great degree just how well the valve will perform against changes in pressure and flow. It is important to note that the control disc's inherent equal percentage flow characteristic translates into an installed linear flow characteristic. Going one step further, mathematically, the slope of the installed flow characteristic curve is called valve gain. Valve experts believe that a valve provides effective control when, as the valve is operating, its installed gain remains between 2 and 0 0.5, with the ideal gain value being 1. 
Above a gain of two, a valve loses control stability because a small amount of valve travel causes a big change in flow. Below a gain of 0.5, valve response becomes too slow. That is, a change in valve travel causes little to no change in flow. The control disc, with its installed linear flow characteristic, offers an extended control range within the gain limits. The Fisher control disc, providing improved control over a wide control range, making it the ideal choice in rotary valves for a wide variety of applications. For an in-depth discussion of flow characteristic and valve gain, follow this link to the technical monograph, Control Valve Impact on Loop Performance. You can count on Fisher Valve products, backed by over 125 years of development and manufacturing experience. The control disc valve is just one example of Fisher control valve technologies from Emerson. Its innovative design helps process industries around the world in meeting a variety of flow control needs. For additional information on digital control valve solutions, or to learn about specific solutions, Call your local Emerson Process Management Sales Office.